So here we have this sample network that accepts input with two input features and has a single hidden layer, as well as an output layer with two possible output classes. So as we know, any given layer is going to contain some number of nodes, but how many nodes it will contain, well, that just depends on where the layer falls exactly. All right, so how do we go about choosing the number of nodes for each layer? Well, for our input layer, we don't really have a choice. It's determined by the input data. The input layer just receives the input data and then it passes it as is to to the first hidden layer. And so therefore the input layer must have one node for each component of the input data. And actually the nodes for the input layer are just for illustrative purposes, because actually there's no operation occurring on this input data. It's just being sent as it's passed to the nodes in the hidden layer, which are actually performing some type of operation on that data. All right, so the input layer has the number of nodes that is equivalent to the number of features in our input data. 